presentation today we are going to learn about our body that is amazing human body the objectives of today's presentation are to understand about our body to know more about musculoskeletal system we humans are called vertebrates because of our backbone the animals which have backbone are called vertebrates for example cat dog fish birds and we our body is made up of bones and muscles we can move our arms sit walk bend you know who is responsible for this yes bones and muscles present in our body work together to balance our body weight and help us to move now we will understand the sub concepts skeletal system and muscular system with the help of questions and solutions what is skeletal system skeletal system is a framework of bones that lies below the skin and muscles in our body bones are made up of calcium then what are the functions of skeletal system skeletal system gives shape and support to our body and helps us to move it also protects few organs for example the skull protects the main part of our body that is the brain our heart and lungs are most important organs in our body luckily we have ribs to protect them ribs act like a cage of bones around our chest we have well pair of ribs to protect our heart and lungs bones e bones even produce red and white blood cells friends now we will know about the backbone then what is a vertebrae the backbone or spine is made up of small bones called vertebrae it is not made up of one or two bones it is made up of 33 small bones and it also protects the spinal cord friends we we cannot move our hand if these two bones were not connected so what is a joint a joint is a point where two or more bones meet there are two types of joints hinge joint which is present in our knees and el- elbow ball and socket joint which is present in our shoulders and hips Our skeletal system is made up of bones. So, how many bones are there in a human body? There are 300 bones in a newborn baby and 206 in an adult. It is not like after we grow up, our bones disappear. Small bones fuse together and become a large bone in our skeletal system. Now we will know about the muscular system. Term. then what is muscular system the muscles present in our body is called the muscular system they are attached to our bones and help in the movement of our body parts like they control the heart beat breathing digestion and many more movements like blinking our eyes frowning laughing smiling and it even protects our bones then how many muscles are there in a human body there are 650 muscles in a human body how many types of muscles are there in a human body there are two types of muscles voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles then what are voluntary muscles voluntary muscles are the muscles which are in our control for example the muscles present in our hands and feet then what are involuntary muscles the muscles which are not in our control are called involuntary muscles 
For example, the muscles present in our heart and the stomach. Thank God our heart is an involuntary muscle. Otherwise, we would have to instruct it every moment to beat. Till now, we have learnt about musculoskeletal system. Now we'll know some interesting facts about them. The longest and strongest bone in our body is the femur, that is our thigh bone. The smallest and weakest bone in our body is the stapes, which is present in our ears. The hardest working muscle in our body is the heart. The largest muscle in our body is the gluteus maximus which is present in our buttocks. The smallest and weakest bone in our body is the stapedius which is present in our ears. The strongest muscle in our body is the mastery which is present in our jaw. Bones and muscles are very important in our body. If they get damaged, it impacts to our body movements. So, healthy and strong bones and muscles are essential for proper functioning in our body. We should eat calcium rich food to strengthen our bones. For example, dairy products, broccoli, fish, even exercise helps us to strengthen our bones and muscles. Musculoskeletal system works for us in lifetime. It is our responsibility to take care of them. Thank you. Hope you all learnt about musculoskeletal system in our body. Let's come up with a new topic in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.